Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of An Engineer's Opinion. This time, I'm going to be talking about the new spherical tires that Goodyear has recently shown off. So let's go ahead and jump over to the article. So we're over here on CNN Money, and the title of the article is Goodyear is Working on Spherical Tires. So this is kind of a little video we're going to go through in just a minute, but here's kind of the idea of the tire. Uh, so they're calling these the Eagle 360, a uh, bit of a weird name, but basically the idea is it's a completely round tire and they are going to suspend them via magnetics in the car itself. And so they'll kind of move around like this. So they allow you to, you know, drive, rapidly change directions, you know, park, parallel parking easily, you know, all that kind of nice stuff. And so what they're doing is putting sensors and the other kind of stuff inside the tires. They did say that, you know, the sensors and stuff that they're working on for these tires, uh, they would put them in normal tires earlier so they can kind of get a proof of concept in place and get a little bit of that extra info out earlier, uh, which is great, which is what people really, really want. So because these tires are supported via maglev, you know, they won't really kill your suspension, assuming that the tire doesn't um, lose its magnetic grip. You know, you'd assume that the tire is going to be held at a certain height. So if the car passes over the hole, you know, maybe the, the uh, tire will just kind of float over, you know, the gap, depending on how deep it is. It won't actually go down into the hole and there'll be some sort of holder to hold the tire in place. Obviously, it's going to be really expensive and consume a lot of power to keep these magnets going. Generally, you know, for any sort of mag track it's a lot of power to actually power the electromagnets that will keep this car going or they have to be super cold you know so some combination of the two is going to have to happen so uh, i don't think we're going to see this anytime soon but it is an interesting idea uh, it's kind of playing off the omnidirectional wheel idea and so if you've never seen an omnidirectional wheel let me pull it up for you so here is a quick you know omni wheel uh, that I just searched on Google for Omni Wheel. And so the way these work are there are several rollers along the side here that'll allow the wheel to actually roll as if it was a wheel, but then all these little nubs here are rollers themselves, so the wheel can be moving like this, but also move instantly in a side to side motion because it's spinning on basically another bearing. So it's kind of going off of that board a far more advanced method. So so it'll be interesting. It's definitely going to change, you know, how cars work, how we can park, how you can pack cars in places. You know, your maneuverability is really going to increase with these tires, especially at slow speeds. So eh, give it 10 years and then we might see something like this. But for now, eh, keep on the lookout for new and improved wheel technology. Uh, that's really where cars need to go besides who's driving them. And that's an engineer's opinion. Hey everyone, need more an engineer's opinion? Find me on Facebook at An Engineer's Opinion. Thanks. Be sure to link, follow, share, do whatever you feel like with this video.